Okay, so while this may seem obvious, I'm going to go over visible fingerprints and how they compare to latent fingerprints. So first off, a visible fingerprint are prints that are able to be seen unaided by the naked eye. This is like whatever you can see without adding anything to it. It's literally visible. These can be the result of the transfer of blood, pain, other fluid, or powder on a surface that's smooth enough to hold the print. So I think if you kind of look at a screen in particular, your visible fingerprints are the ones you're always trying to clean off because you can clearly see those. Uh, other than kind of being on a screen, there's also plastic fingerprints. These are prints that are actual indentations left in some sort of soft material. It could be a clay, a putty, a mud, or a wax, and they're clearly visible without adding anything to them. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to compare them to latent prints. So what a latent print is, is sometimes called a hidden print. And these are caused by the transfer of oils and other bodily secretions onto a surface that may not initially be able to be seen all that well. They may require some sort of powder to be added. They may require some sort of dust to be added to be able to see them because they're there, but they're not necessarily directly visible. Those latent prints are there. Then when we add certain powders to them, they become visible. But initially, just on the surface, they're not visible. We call those latent prints, and that's what makes a good forensic scientist, is who's able to identify and find those latent prints, make them visible, take pictures, and utilize them as evidence.